What's going on guys? My name is Suboptimal and today we'll go over how to build a solar system using 3.js. So for those of you that don't know, 3.js is a JavaScript library to make 3D games and animations on the browser. You can draw complex shapes, import blender objects, set up different lighting and camera angles, and even animate them with JavaScript. Now, if you want to learn more, then I highly recommend going to 3.js.org. Cool. Now that you guys aren't totally in the dark about 3.js, let's take a look at how I went about to build a 3D solar system using the framework. Uh, so I built this project with React and Next.js, but you can basically transfer all of the skills I'm telling you here into whatever framework you're comfortable with. First thing you're going to want to do is create a project and remove everything in it and just create a simple little canvas. So as you can see, this is my index.jsx file and I created a canvas. And what we want to do is initialize the scene uh, inside of this canvas. And, and what I'm doing is I'm creating a test scene I am initializing the scene and I am animating it. If we go to our initialize scene function, you're going to notice that basically I'm setting up a 3D environment for us to work with in JavaScript. Now, if you're working with a framework like Unity or Unreal, then you know these things are sort of set up out of the box. But because we're doing this in JavaScript and using 3.js, this is how we're going to have to set it up for ourselves, right? We're going to first set up the camera and you know we're going to be setting up the position of the camera. And then we're going to create a scene, which is where we can add all of our objects, all of our solar system objects, planets into, and then we're going to render it. Basically, this is a ton of boilerplate code that you're just going to have to do when you're running a 3GS project. If I go over here, you're going to notice that this is the scene. And these are the stats that are being currently displayed. So there's nothing on screen right now. But you can kind of tell that it is working because we got the frames per second being displayed here. So now that we have our scene initialized, all we got to do is start adding objects into our project. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the sun and this is going to be at the center of the solar system. So in order to add a sun, we're going to first create a sun geometry. Now these geometries can be of different uh, shapes and sizes. So right now I'm creating a box just because it's easier to uh, see the 3D animation of a box than it is to see a sphere. So I'm creating this box and I'm going to create a material. And what this material does is it allows us to easily see uh, the sun as we rotate around and so create this sun mesh and the, the mesh takes in the geometry and the material and once we have that we got to add this into our test scene so uh, I'm going to create this thing called solar system group and basically the reason I'm doing this and honestly it's unnecessary but the reason I'm doing this is because we know that we're going to create a ton of planets and we want to add these planets to our solar system. So it's just a way to easily keep track of things. So I'm just creating this group and I'm going to add the sun mesh to it. And then I'm going to add the solar system into our test scene. So if I were to save this and go to our project, you're going to see this square. Well, I guess it's a cube and you can sort of rotate it around. But obviously, that doesn't look like a sun. So let's actually fix this and make this look like an actual sun. Um, I got the code right over here. And what we're doing here, we're going to load a texture. And the texture that we're loading is called sun.jpg. This is just something that I just found on Google. And what it is, is it's a JPEG file. Let me just show it to you guys in the public uh, folder. And basically it has the sun. We can basically map the sun Oops, we can map the sun texture onto the sun material. And then once we pair it together, we're going to see sun mesh actually look like a sun. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is I have to change this to be a sphere geometry, right? Sphere geometry and the sphere geometry does not take in that many parameters. So, so yeah, now we have our sun. And as you can see, it, you know, looks kind of like the sun. Now that we've added the sun, let's actually add some of the other planets. And here I've got Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. And what I'm doing is I'm constructing a planet. So this is a class that I made. It's a helper class. And what it's doing is it's sort of just 
running all of this code, but it's running it underneath this class. So all I have to do is pass in a couple parameters. So I'm passing in the radius, the position, the offset and the texture file. So here we know that Mercury is pretty small. So I'm going to pass in the radius of two and it is 16 units away from the sun. And I also downloaded a Mercury texture from Google so that we can pass that into the planet as well. And just to clarify, as soon as we uh, create the planet, what we're doing is getting the mesh of that planet. All that's doing here is, you know, it's creating the geometry, it's creating the texture, uh, and it's creating the material, and then it's setting up the mesh. So this mesh is just going to be taking in the geometry and the material of Mercury, for example. And of course, it's also going to offset uh, from the position X. So basically, that's all this helper class is doing. And uh, once we create that, we're going to create a Mercury system. And this is going to be a new 3GS group. And we're going to add Mercury to that system. Uh, we're going to do that for all the other planets as well. So we've got Venus, right? Earth, things like that. Once we've added all these planets, we want to add these systems into our solar system. So the Mercury system, the Venus system, the Earth system, and the and the Mars system. And once we run this code, we get our planet. So you can see here, you got Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Now I could, you know, continue this and do the other planets, but I just wanted to keep it as simple as possible for the tutorial. And so the last thing that we got to do is to start adding rotations into our system. What I wanted to do was ensure that in one minute, the Earth would rotate around the sun. I had to find the math formula to get this working two times math pi, you guys know two pi r, right? That's, you know, the circumference of a uh, circle, basically, by adding two pi to this thing, it's just going to rotate around once, because my app is running 60 frames per second, I needed to multiply it by one over 60. The Mercury system is rotating faster, right? So it's going to be rotating at four times the speed and then Venus is rotating at two times the speed of Earth and Mars is rotating at uh, you know, half the speed of Earth. And we want to make sure that it, it's animated every single frame. And there's this uh, fancy little function that you can just call called request animation frame. And, and you sort of just pass it in recursively. So basically, it's just going to keep running forever and ever. Refresh the page. And there you have it. That's going to be it for today. Hopefully now you guys have a basic understanding of 3JS and how to build a 3D solar system using it. If you enjoyed the content, then you know, be sure to leave a like because that really does help me out and consider subscribing for more suboptimal content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.